it just comes down to philosophy of what you mean by valuable. I was getting into it on Twitter all night last night. They throw out the war. Even if they don't bring up war, he's the best player in baseball. Nobody's gonna doubt, nobody is going to question that Trout is the best player in baseball. He is. But most valuable, all right? The Angels are six games under 500 or right. eight, whatever it is. If they take Trout out, they finish 20 games under. They're irrelevant either way. But if you take LeMayu away from the Yankees, maybe the Yankees are not, not uh, uh, unquestionably the division winner. Maybe they're battling Tampa for first place. Maybe if you take Devers away from the Red Sox, instead of being four out of the wild card, they're 12 out and they're, and, and they're irrelevant. I, I just look at the team. Now, the counter is, well, uh, the Angels are never good, so that means the Trout would never win the MVP. But... I do think I'm going to lean towards a guy that is contributing to a team that's doing something rather than the guy that's contributing to a team that's under 500. So if you were voting, you would take the literal V for what it is, yes. most valuable. I don't think a lot of writers no. do that. They're going to take the guy that had the best season. And that's why and I that's think Mike Trout. people love awards, right? They do. They, we debated on sports radio, why can't you have a... Two awards, one for the MVP and one for the best player in the game. Now, a lot of times it'll be the same guy. But there'll be times, and I think this year is a perfect example, give Mike Trout the best player in baseball award and then give LeMayhew or Devers or whoever else you think is on a better team the most valuable player. What will be wrong with that? It's hard to give it to a guy that's on a losing team. Now, guys have won on a losing team before, but they either had, like, historic numbers, like Stanton did the other year with 59 home runs, or there really isn't anybody else to give it to. I mean, we've got candidates. You have to say that Devers and LeMayu are legitimate contenders. Well, very much so, right, but so, they're not going to win. No, I get it, but I, that doesn't mean I can't be upset about it. Dinner. I, I agree with you, trout. but that doesn't mean I have to agree with them. Okay, but I'm just saying. It's not an argument on whether he's going to win it or not. It's I, an argument on whether he should. I don't want Yankee fans being distraught if, if DJ LeMay, who's had a phenomenal season, doesn't win the MVP. He's not going to win it. It's it, going to be Mike Trout. It's, it's such the classic. It's same with the All-Star game. It's such a sports argument to get upset that your player didn't make the All-Star game or didn't win an award, and then five minutes after it's over, you completely forget about it. Like, what does it matter? The Yankees win the World Series. Are you going to care if LeMayu won the MVP or not? He wasn't even a Yankee last year. He I can understand care. you getting upset if it was like Jeter or, or somebody that's a forever Yankee. Like, I, I understand you getting upset, but you realize, like, five minutes after the season's over or they announce the award, he's going to get over it. It doesn't matter.